Welcome viewers! Are you guys super excited to start geometry? Um, this is my first video, so I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm sure my videos will get better as I get comfortable with this new screencast-o-matic I'm using. So we're going to start with undefined and defined terms in geometry. Okay, Undefined just means we've got three terms, a point, a line, and a plane. I'm sure you've heard those words before. That, hold on, I'm moving my desk up. That's the sound of my desk moving up. Um, that we just can't define. We don't have, we can describe them, but we can't de really formally define them. So here's what we're gonna do. And you guys are gonna hopefully be writing this down on paper if you have them printed. If not, no big deal. Why can't I scroll? Here we go. Um, you can write it down on paper if you wanna take notes on paper, or you can just watch. And do practice in class. It's up to you. So a point, and it's got no dimension, and it's represented by a dot. And see here we've got a capital A next to the dot. So here is a point, and we just call it A or B, but it's always a capital letter. A line has one dimension. It's represented by a line here, and I've got an example here with two arrowheads, both directions, and extends without end. So we can call this line over here, oof, we can call that line AB, or we can kind of call it line BA. It doesn't really matter, it's the same line. And then I believe this is a lowercase l. And notice how it's the lowercase l is there's not next to a dot on the line. We can just call that line L. So, or we can call it line AB. And if we want to say it's a line, we've got to put a line symbol over the top of it, or we could call it line BA, line symbol over the top of it. There we go. Through any two points, there is exactly one line, and you can use any two points um, on the line to name it. Okay? It's got a point's got no length, no width, no height. Um, all right, we're moving on. And a point's got no size. All right, now we're moving on to, or we did point, we did line, and the lines, lines have no thickness. A plane, a plane has two dimensions. So we've, when we talked about dimension, um, you know, in previous years, one dimension is a line, two dimension is, has a length, uh, this is a length, this is a length and a width, and then three dimensions has a length, a width, and a height. There's one dimension, there's two dimensions, and there's three dimensions. A plane has two dimensions. It's re represented by a shape that looks like a floor or a wall, but it extends without end. So when you draw a plane, you know, you have to draw boundaries, but a plane doesn't have boundaries. And we can name it, we can name a plane, we have to use three points, but the three points can't all be on the same line, because then we'd be naming a line. So at least one of the points has to be off of the plane, or off of the line. So we can name this plane ABC, or we could name it plane CBA or CAB, or any order is fine. Notice the capital M has no dot next to it. That's actually another name for the plane. So through any three points not on the same line, there is exactly one plane, and you can use three points that are not all on the same line to name that plane. Okay, um, moving on. So let's talk about the two words co-linear, like co means together, linear, line. So two points on the same line are co-linear. And co-planar, points that are on the same plane. So I just drew some examples um, it, it's, it's really, technically I could make these two points A, B, and make them collinear, okay? But I was just trying to give you an example of what um, collinear means. And coplanar as well, that C would have to be off the plane somewhere in order for them, for that not to be C, for it not to be coplanar. So now we're going to try some practice. Give two other names for line LN. All right, so normally in class right now, 
you guys need to be giving me answers. Okay, so L N. There's line L N. Well, we could name it line L M. M is also on the line, so put your arrows over the top of it. And then notice on that same line, there's a lowercase b. We could also name it line lowercase b. And other names for plane z are plane. Now we have to pick three letters that are not all in the same line together. Like we couldn't use L, M, and N, but we could use L, M, and P in any order we wanted. And then we could use L, N, and P. That would work too. Okay, these aren't the only answers. And then name three points that are collinear. So that means that all three of those points have to be on the same line. So here we would use L, M, and N. And you wouldn't want to use Z because Z is not a point. It's a name of the plane. And we know that because there's no dot next to it. Um, so um, name four points that are coplanar, that are all in the same plane. Now, this is kind of hard to see. Do you see this? I'm going to draw it in red here. You see this line right here? What they're trying to show you here is they're trying to like show you that that line is going through the plane. Like if you were to take a piece of paper and take a pencil and stab the, the paper with the pencil, that's what that line is doing. It's going right through it. So they're trying to show you that Q is not on the plane. So we want points that are coplanar, L, M, N, and P. And you guys write down your questions as you're watching these videos because when you come into class, we can, we're in no rush. We will talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Give two other names for line MQ. Name a point that is not coplanar with points L, N, and P. Anytime we get to a checkpoint like this, my um, hope is that you stop the video, try it yourself, and then watch the answer and see how you did. All right, so here we go. QM, same as MQ, or line A, lowercase a. And then the not coplanar, point Q. All right, now we are moving on to defined terms, terms that we can define. And we talked a little bit about lines. You can write it as AB. Now a segment is part of a line. It has two endpoints. It starts and it stops. And you can call it this segment here. I could call it AB or BA. Um, but that's a line segment, part of a segment. Same as a ray. Ray is also part of a line, but it only has one endpoint. And you always have to start with the endpoint name. So look at this example here. See how the ray is going to the left, but it starts at B. This is ray B, A, and the arrow, when you draw it, has to be going to the right. You wouldn't want to write it like this, and then the arrow going this way, okay? And here's another one. This is a different ray. It starts at A, and it goes through B. So in order for rays to be the same, they have to have, to have the same starting point. So ray AB and ray BA are actually different rays. And where are we at? All right, stop, see if you can do these problems, and I'll give you the answers right here. So here, X, V, rays with endpoint W. Now notice how W doesn't have a dot right there in the center. When you have an intersection of two lines, you can assume that's a point. So they don't usually put um, a dot there. So rays with endpoints W, we could say WX, WZ, WV, and WY. All right, those are all rays with endpoint W. Now opposite rays, they go in opposite directions, but ha they have the same endpoint. 
So one goes this way, one goes this way. So an example would be WV and WX. And then the other pair would be WY and WZ. We're almost done. This thing doesn't tell me how long my videos are, so I have no... Oh, yes, it does. Ten minutes. Okay, all right, I can do that. All right, give another name for YW. You should have already done this. Otherwise, press pause. WY. Now, this one's kind of tricky, okay? Are they the same ray? Are um, VX and XV? All right, a different color, different color. Blue. V... X starts here and goes through X. And XV starts somewhere else. It starts at X and goes through V. So do you see how those cover different points? That blue ray has different points covered than that green ray. Some of the points overlap, but not all of them. So in order for them to be the same ray, they got to be identical. So no. And then um, our v w and v x the same why yes they are okay so i think we're done all right see you guys in class later thanks for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe because i want to have as many views as possible i'm going to get famous i'm going to have a famous math teacher all right later